It's October 3rd, 2016, and it's an all-new Richard Wilmore show. We celebrate motherhood with the one and only Jen Snyder. And we get a little crafty. It's time for the ballerina show. Okay. Say hello to me! unprofessional Richard Wilmore show ever. My dog has decided that he loves Emmy too much and he needs to be a part of it. But uh, I am here with Jen Snyder. Jen, you do a gazillion and one things. And I'm not quite sure how you do it because I can barely manage to feed my dog and myself in a day. Um, how would you describe what you are or what you do? I want to support moms. I have my photography business where I show moms the unconditional love their children have for them because when you're a mom, you get really wrapped up into the eye rolling and the tantrums and the timeout step and oh my god, how many more minutes is it until bedtime? Oh, the clock is getting... <laughs> is it ticking? Can you tell me when the clock gets to... when this one gets to the seven? Yeah. Can you tell me that? Okay, okay thanks. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> You get so wrapped up in all that mess that you forget why you're doing it and why why motherhood is so amazing. And then I try to have these portraits that really show you the love that these kids have for you. So when you're trapped in the middle of a tantrum, you can look at this portrait hanging on the wall and be like, oh, that's why I do this. Oh, I did have kids for a reason. <laughs> I do love kids. I swear I love kids. You have three kids. I have three kids. They're crazy. I love them, but they're nuts. What are their ages? I have... Um, eight, almost nine-year-old. We're getting into preteen land soon. Are you nervous about that? I'm terrified. <laughs> and I have a six-year-old and my ex-toddler tornado, now preschool tornado, Emily. Do you like preschool? Do you like preschool? Yeah. Oh. What? Slate is going upstairs. Yeah, Slate's going to go upstairs. Do you want to go see what he's doing? You can go see what he's doing. Quiet game. Okay, you're going to play a quiet game now that she's been instructed to play a quiet game. Um, and Halloween's coming up because we're in October already. Uh, do we have costumes yet? Uh, they change every day. Mm -hmm. My oldest likes to orchestrate everything so everyone matches. So we have to either be all Star Wars, oh. where my oldest wants to be Rey, my poor only son is going to be Kylo Ren, and Emily is going to be BB-8. I have no idea what I'm supposed to mean, but I believe you. <laughs> There's also discussions about Pokemon, where we're going to have some Pokemon trainers and Pokemon characters. Here. So They all like to coordinate, though. Do you... They were super into the Pokemon Go thing. Are they still into that? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. She does... Where's the one? Don't you have a Pokemon thing? So Jen does... Not that I'm going to just jump around. But this is Pokemon, That's isn't Pokemon. It? So one of the things that Jen does... And I don't know how she does it, but we're going to learn it, I think, today. I'm going to attempt to learn it today. What's up? Do you want to sit here? No, you want to sit by mom? Here. Okay, okay thank you. Um, I'm going to sit She, can you do a quick description of how, like, what these are? It's watercolors, I'm guessing? It's actually a brush pen. Okay, see how good I'm going to be at this? <laughs> it's a water-soluble brush pen, so you take it and... Mark it to, to make the watercolor looking background. The the actual black is a more of a permanent ink that you draw on it. Now and then I'm you take the water soluble it. brush pen, or in this case, we're going to be doing Crayola markers because that's a lot easier to come by. You take it and you color all over a piece of plastic, and then you're going to smear it all around. It's super easy. And it makes something completely unique each time. It's always a surprise as to how it turns out. I know. I'm looking at all of these. You have some framed and some not, and they're all so different. I'm excited to, uh, like, look how cute that is. And the fun part is, is you can buy these on Jen's Etsy site. Tell them uh, what your Etsy site is. It's Jen Snyder Art. And it's mostly nerdy hand lettering phrases. I have a lot of Battlestar Galactica, Doctor Who, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I like the nerdy stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently a lot of people like the nerdy stuff. Where are we at with the time, Emmy? What's it on? What number is it on? Do you know what number that is? Yeah. What number is it? Thank you. Thank you. It's very helpful. Someone has to be the camera operator today, and it's her. Um, she also does mugs. Look at these mugs. I mean, who, a mother of three who also has a photography business who 
I, I don't understand how, how do you think you have the time to do it all besides not sleeping is my guess. Lots of coffee. Yeah. That's about it. But, <laughs> all day long? <laughs> all day long. Lots of coffee. You sound like me, but I feel like I don't get anything accomplished anymore. <laughs> like, I meet these, I love having friends who are super creative, because I feel like I'm not, so I like to be around them and pretend I am, and then I see all the stuff you guys do, and I'm like, man, I can't even, like, get up and get this show together on time. It's kind of scary. Oh, it's a hot mess all the time. There's lots of frantic running around, going here, going there, but, you know, I get bored of one thing, and then it's easy to switch gears to do something else for a while, so I can just flip-flop back and forth all day long and eventually something gets done. Do you see any of that creativity in any of the kids? Yes, really? especially my oldest. She's my dreamer. She gets lost. She'll be the, the type of kid who will tell her to get dressed. She'll get halfway dressed, pick up a book, and forget to finish getting dressed because she's lost on the story. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. Um, so you do art. You also um, are a photographer. Mommy, How long have you been doing that? I have been running my own business since 2009. Previous to that, I was actually a ballistics photographer for about a year and a half, which was a lot of fun. And living then, grounds. And then this show is I've fun, done fun, weddings, I've done it. fine art gallery shows. Uh, I've been in the photography industry for probably 16 years. Wow. Yeah, you know, since I was like five. Yeah, right, yeah. So right. <laughs> yeah, since you were five, she had a gift right away. And if you're watching this in around the Maryland area, you obviously know the face because Jen uh, gets hired a lot to do a lot of local festivals and she's everyone I speak to in the area knows who Jen is which I think is awesome I'll spell that's, that's, I mean in a very short amount of time you've made a name for yourself and I think it's something to be admired I've been very lucky yeah yeah it's a fun area to uh, if you're good at something I feel like this area really clings to talent to and they support it a lot what your show's gonna start now not yet not yet I'm gonna get a show with Okay, you get a show ready, and then when you're done, you, we can film your show. Okay. Okay. Let me know. Okay. Um, well, let's talk about your blog, because I know you love, you love blogging. I do. And you love that interaction with, with moms, and you have a whole movement, uh, Mom Reality, as a hashtag, which I think is awesome. So tell me about that. I believe that social media is tainting our view of motherhood, kind of like how Photoshop really screwed up everyone's view of what beauty is. It completely changed the beauty standards. It, in my opinion, ruined what beauty is because everyone has to be, has to achieve this unattainable level of perfection. And I think social media is doing the same thing with parenting because everyone just sees all the other parents' highlight reels of these beautiful crafts they made, these home-cooked meals and all organic stuff, you know, no one's going to the drive through Everyone's houses are immaculate all the time, like a, a Pinterest spread, and it's it's not reality. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you may see this beautiful, clean house, but what you're not seeing is that the kids watched six movies that day, so mom could scrub. <laughs> right, or the cleaner came in to actually do it instead of mom exactly. doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What is you? You don't. Gonna, what? It's it's gonna be free, and then the show is gonna go. Okay. Thanks. Emmy's show is after our show. <laughs> She's new, and we're supporting her. So watch out. Um, what are your thoughts on like the housewives and all that craziness? What do you mean? Like, since you're so like we were just talking about the the mom reality and like what that whole housewife, what they that that image of what their everyday life is with kids and how that all works and how it's so seamless and like you know I'm guessing you don't watch housewives. No, a lot. no, I I watch Nick Jr. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which is the same. Totally. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what's your, uh, tell them how to find your blog. It's uh, jensnyderphoto.com. You have a lot of websites. It's all linked to one. Okay. It's all together. Okay. All right, good. Um, and you want, like, you want people to use that hashtag and, like, Dancing and also dance. share their mom realities, right? It's not just you, like, come look at what Jen did today on her mom reality. No, I definitely don't want people looking at my mom reality <laughs> show. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, look, here she is throwing another temper tantrum, and here's this one pouting, and oh, look, I blew something up in the microwave because I forgot to vent the 90-second rice bag. No, I want to everyone to encourage everyone to celebrate their own reality, because when you look back at, you know, like I love Time Hop, and when
when Time Hop shows me things that were a year ago, the stage pictures mean absolutely nothing to me. I'm like, oh look, I forced my kids to sit down and smile. That has nothing to do with what my life is really like. Whereas I really like to see the reality, like, with this. This is a very hashtag mom reality moment, if I've ever seen it. A year ago, I was posting pictures of her climbing on top of the dining room table to reach the chandelier to see if she could swing on it. And now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, my life is so crazy. But then I look at these time hop pictures from a year ago and I go, oh, it's actually settled down. Yeah, and you survived. And I wouldn't have realized it had I not shared the reality. Also, I'm hearing from a lot of other moms who see things that I post going, I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one that had to camp my kids out in front of the TV to get the house clean or to cook dinner or had to go to drive through three times this week. It's just because no one, no one shows that. They all hide those bits. Have you had like a big surprise like you've seen like looking through your hashtag of like, oh my god, I can't believe this person from this place actually saw and tweeted me, or you know what I mean? Like, has there been a surprise like, oh my god, I actually reached someone further than? I've just been surprised overall at seeing it. I mean, it's been a, a slow climb, but it's actually getting to the point where people I don't know were using the hashtag. Yeah, I get really excited. Yeah, about that's that. so exciting when when someone you don't know <laughs> clicks to then finds you like that, especially when. When you are a small business and you're trying to make it through, you're fine. Go for it. Do whatever you want. Um, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back with Jen and Emmy, of course. Um, we're going to film some stuff for Emmy Show and we're going to uh, chat some more and do some crafts right here on Mom Reality. We'll be right back. This isn't working how I want it to work because huh? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> but I pulled all my favorite, just insane moments of parenting to put on the front of these cards, and then the back sort of describes the mom reality movement. Um, join me as I push back against the fake perfection of social media. Show your reality, the good, the bad, and the ugly by using mom reality on social media. And then once a month, I go through Instagram and look at all of the people who've used the hashtags. I pick my favorite of the ones that I see of, of each month which actually is getting posted today. And oh, you can see my favorite ones of each one that I feature on my blog, just to help spread the word. So it's not just the Jen Snyder show right. of crazy parenting stories, but it's, it's so we can all make a tribe together. We can work together to really celebrate what mom reality is. And it's not about hating Pinterest and hating people that have it all together, although really nobody has it all right. together. Right, those are just pictures. Those are the snapshots of when it does work. That isn't an everyday. <laughs> Everyday reality, I guess, my guess. Right, right. I mean, just as much as mom reality is my kids throwing a temper tantrum in the middle of Target, it's also us at the beach, you know, building a giant sandcastle and remembering to have fun together. Yeah, you had the cutest picture the other day of, I think you were holding her hand. Right? Yes. That was like, those are also just as adorable and cute as her hanging from a chandelier <laughs> over the dining room table. <laughs> right? Right. Um, and... Before I forget, too, I want to talk about what we're doing together. Yes. Um, we, for the holiday season, want to do, I keep saying that I'm not going to mention my truck and I'm not just going to sit and use the show to plug my truck, <laughs> but um, through uh, my truck, my fashion truck, Street Boutique, we're doing um, a makeover and Jen's helping us out and we've got a bunch of local stylists and people are going to do makeup. It's going to be awesome, but what we're looking for are moms are women who deserve to be pampered a little bit. You don't have to be a mom, but you just need some time to yourself. Uh, and if you can email who you would like to nominate and why to uh, Richard Wilmore Show at Gmail. We're going to pick a winner. We're going to come in here. They're going to get some free clothes. They're going to get a free makeover. And Emmy's going to dance for us. And I hope this is on camera. So that's it. Um, can you talk about a little about uh, working with your local businesses? Because I know, obviously, as someone also who is a local small business, it's, it's really important to work with other local small businesses. I'm really passionate about bringing small businesses together to help cross promote to each other's audiences. I think that a lot of times in today's big box commercial culture, <laughs> I hope Twinkle Twinkle isn't copyright 
Uh, always, <laughs> we're in trouble. But in today's culture of everyone going to Target and everyone going to the big box stores, that the small businesses get lost in the shuffle. And a lot of times it's not intentional, it's just that the moms or the, the, the shoppers don't know that these stores exist. So also with my blog, I try to bring like, these stores so moms can know about them, moms can support them. So I will work with local businesses, local brands, even national brands, where I can promote your, your services if it's something that a mom would be interested in, if a mom could benefit from it. Uh, the, the, how do people contact you? Are you looking for, because um, it's a, yet another thing that you have to then go, and be like, hey, do you want to hang out with me and work with me? I mean, is there a way that people who are interested in something like that can contact you? Again, on my website, jensnyderphoto.com, there's a contact form, and one of the little choices is uh, sponsorships or businesses and brands. Okay, cool. And tell them uh, what your Instagram is, because I love looking at your photos. It's Jen underscore Snyder. Okay, good. And it's a hot mess in there. No, it's so much fun, and it's so real, but it's also, because you're such a good photographer, there's such great shots of some crazy moments that end up looking amazing because of the way you shoot them and then adorable moments that are even greater because you know what you're doing as opposed to me and don't go on my Instagram. Um, you should take my Instagram class. You have an Instagram class? I have a class on taking better pictures with your smartphone. Well, when is that? You have um, an event coming up on the 15th of October, right? Yes, I have my uh, fall family event, which is Portraits, uh, family portraits, if you're not ready to invest in a full portrait session where you get you know, 20 to 30 pictures to choose from, if you just need one picture to update a frame, if you just need one picture for your Christmas card, I call them short and sweet sessions. We just, 15 minutes long, we get in, we get the one or two shots that we need, and then you're done. And then you're out. And then you can sign up for that on Facebook, right? Yes. Which is Jen Snyder, I'm guessing. Jen Snyder photo. Photo. All right, well, look at that. Um, but what's your, what's the, what's the iPhone camera. Oh, the iPhone what? camera class. Yeah, that? It's lots of fun. If you can get a group of people together and you're hosting it at your home, the host is actually free. You don't have to pay for it. It's about an hour-long class. We talk about how to take better pictures with your phone. It's almost like an intro to photography. All of the things that I teach you, except for the apps part, obviously, can be used on a big camera, on a smartphone. It works for anything. Oh, God, that's such a smart idea. Um, I like that idea. I mean, I don't want to like throw Wendy under the bus, but maybe Wendy and I should get together and maybe take that class together. Uh, Wendy's a graduate of that class. Oh, she did it already. Then my bad. <laughs> maybe we need to get Wendy to do a filming class. We'll have to sign her up for that. Um, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to do a little crafting, and Jen's going to attempt to uh, teach me how to make something that looks halfway decent. So we're going to be right back. <laughs> Uh, after this. Okay. Okay, get your dance, and then we'll be ready. Tell me when you're ready. We're back uh, with Jen Snyder, and we're going to do our first ever craft segment on the Richard Wilmore Show, so we'll see what happens. We're going to create, well, Jen's going to create this, and I'm going to create something like that, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We're going to be making it sort of like a, a fake calligraphy. You don't actually need to know how to do real calligraphy. Like, for example, if you were going to do some kind of real calligraphy, I'll turn this way. It's all about, you have like, this is the brush pen I was talking about earlier. And those are expensive, right? Um, I mean, they're not as cheap as Crayola markers. Right, and we're using Crayola, so you could do this like with your kids or for your kids. But if you, it's all about varying, oh. the, the, you know, so you can you press harder, you change the angle that gets thin and thick lines. Okay. So, I mean. I don't so, have to be that talented. I you don't need to do that at all. It's really easy. It's going to be much easier than that. Okay, good. So I started, I drew a rectangle on the paper for you. Okay. Which is just a 5 by 7 so if you wanted to cut it out and put it into a frame, that's... Oh, so it's just like the glass from a 5 by 7 frame? Yeah, I just okay. trace the glass so that way you know where to keep it in there so that way it fits in the frame. Okay. So you start with your pencil. That's now, this. That is this. Okay. I'm so scared. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. <laughs> this is super easy. Okay. So we're going to do You Are My Sunshine. Yes. You want to start with the main word, which is sunshine. Okay. So, so I've started with just like, help. <laughs> this is going to be much easier than you think. Okay. So take your pencil. Do you at least remember how to write in cursive? Uh, yes. Okay. So write in cursive lightly the word sunshine. Where? In 
right about here. Like in like, the middle, sort in of? The, in the middle, on the lower half of the middle. Okay. Any way I want? Any way you want. Um, just try to do it in cursive, and then we'll do the rest in print. Yeah, I'll continue first. This looks good. Okay. Can we just sort of... I like to make the letters uneven. I think it makes it more interesting. And if you mess up, it's in pencil. Like, look, I, I ran out of space, so I'm going to have to speak it over. Oh, so you can totally. This isn't like... Okay. This is just pencil. This All is right. just a, to get the, the space. But it's not going to show up later. Right. I'm just going to keep mine. I don't really like it. But oh, that's really pretty. Okay, that's mine. I don't like it. Okay. So look, you're already more professional. You did it in the first try. Well, if I were like at home doing this, I would redo it. But, well, now I feel like I'm going to redo it. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to redo yours, I'm redoing mine. So I don't like my S. This is why I don't understand how you have time to do all this stuff. Because it would take me... And I did one this morning in about 10 minutes. It doesn't take long. No. This is the, the longest part. All right, so after you've written in cursive the word sunshine, it's fine, because you'll probably just go over it directly in Sharpie anyway. Okay. I like to do it light in case I screw up, or if I'm making the Sharpie, my hand twitches, and I end up making the S a different shape, then I can erase it completely. Okay. But it's fine. So next you're going to write, you are my. And we're going to do that in print. Now, when you write it in print, you don't want it to be just your regular handwriting. You like to stylize it a little bit. You want to jazz it up. So, I guess to demonstrate on here, I'll just turn around. Instead of doing, like, for example, the word R. Like, if I was to normal write it, it would be like that. Uh -huh. But that doesn't really look all that awesome. No. So, to stylize it, we're going to take all these middle points and move them lower. So, you would have the A and the R. So you see how, whereas this is in the middle of the letter, this is in kind of the bottom, like the bottom third. Okay. Are we doing that on all of the words, you are my? You are my. They're all supposed to look like that. Where's that going, on the top? I, it could go anywhere you want. You can put it right here, like you are my. You kind of, that's, that's a beat of pencil. You can kind of play around with how you want to lay okay. it out. like me and you have trouble making things straight, yeah, you can just get a ruler and sketch out light um, straight lines. But we're just going to eyeball it. And again, it's pencil. If this part doesn't count, if you don't like it, you just erase it and redo it. Are you done already? Are you doing it right? Are you doing it right? I don't know. Am I? Oh, that's really pretty. That's very nice. Now from here, you just look and see if there are any areas that are empty. You can add, like, draw a little picture of a sun. You can add, you know, little swirly lines. Whatever you want to do to dress it up a bit. Are you going to do something? I'm not because I feel like I don't know how to draw suns, but you should do something. A, a sun. I mean, it's a circle with some right. lines coming out of well, it. Well, I know, but that's what mine will look like. So <laughs> I feel like I'm good. You're good? Yeah. <laughs> you can, you know, if you wanted to just do. Oh, okay. Sure. Just some extra accent pieces just to make it interesting. You can put no. dots on it. No. Okay. Don't I, be scared. Look, just 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 do it lightly. You can always erase it. Like that. Okay, that one's nice. I'll, I'll keep that. <laughs> Alright. Next we're gonna move on to the Sharpie. Okay. So we are going to we'll start with you are mine because that's easy. Okay. And if you like the way it looks go ahead and trace it with your Sharpie. <laughs> Surprise me. Because now I'm going to dance. You're dancing? And he's going to dance. And then you're going to trace the sunshine. Alright. And your accent swirlies. Swirlies. Just be careful with the word sunshine. Don't dot the eye yet. Okay. Accents like that, dotting eyes, crossing. 
and T's, you want to do that last because when you make the lines thicker to emulate the calligraphy that I showed you with my really bad squeaks, um, your letters will not be centered the same way. Oh. Don't forget to trace your. Oh, you yeah, I forgot that I was keeping my swirly. Hi. Hi. And I'm up here. How come you're up there? Because I just wanted to do that. Okay. You can. You can go upstairs if you want. <laughs> okay. But if you do, I feel like Slade's ready to follow you. I'll just go upstairs. Okay. You can do whatever you want. strokes are thick, the upstrokes are skinny, like, using this as an example. It's not random that some of these lines are thick and some of these lines are thin. Okay. Whenever the pen goes up, it's a thin line. Whenever the pen comes down, it's a thick line. Okay. So you are going to... Up is thin? Up is thin, down is thick. Okay. So the curve of the S, you're going to essentially just draw another line around like this and then you'll just color it in. Well, let's go the whole thing because we're going down. Yep. Right. And then with the U. Is this right or not? Should I be thicker? It's a style decision. There isn't really a oh, lot of right decisions. Art. Okay. I mean, I personally like thick, bold lines next to thin lines. I like to play up that difference, but some people don't. No! What's the matter? So we're going to take a break while I take nine minutes to finish this. And then when we come back, we're going to keep... Yeah, because I'm super far behind. <laughs> so we're going to take a break, and then when we come back, that part will be done. Okay? Okay, good. Are you pulling? Help me pull. Woo! There you go. Please watch us. You'll be the only person who does. All right, we're back with Jen Snyder. We're making our uh, prints. This is what we've done so far. And uh, <clears throat> so there's that. <laughs> All right, next is easy. You're just gonna take your eraser and erase all of the pencil of your sketch line. When did you start doing this? Hand lettering? Yeah, um, like, who decides? Right around Christmas time, I just sort of picked it up as a hobby and it became an obsession. Like last year? Like 2015? Yeah. Oh, that's it? That's it. Wow. It's so easy. Now, it didn't look like this when I first started doing it. Like third grader did it. Like but this, I'm guessing. It looked a lot like that. Uh huh. But then the more you do it, the better you get, and the easier it gets. This is my this is my zen. I get stressed out. Wow. Playing around with letters wow. makes me better. This is the stress for me. <laughs> well, because I'm so like, I need it to be perfect, and then I'll sit here for nine hours. Okay. But that's the beauty of this. There is no perfect. You just make some... Yeah, there's some no sword. perfect, but there certainly is a horrible. Okay, ready? <laughs> all right, the next part is the super fun part. Okay. So all you need is a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. Got it. and some Crayola markers. Mine are washable. I think that makes it a little easier. Okay. So. You have two. I have three. doesn't matter. I usually say anywhere between two and four colors. Okay. So you're going to lay your Ziploc bag over your design okay. just to make sure that you get it centered nicely. And you're going to take your markers and you're going to scribble on the Ziploc bag. And you can kind of mix it up. You don't color it in perfectly. You just sort of swirl some around. So in the end, it'll be like that. I didn't get that. Just like that. And just like that. It takes me nine hours to do that. Okay. Well, don't ever think it. You're just scribbling. The beauty about this is you have absolutely no idea how it's going to turn out. It doesn't matter how practical. 
practiced you are, it's going to be different each time. Okay. So you don't need to stress about how you lay the ink on. You're just right. laying some ink. So you're going to scoot your plastic bag off to the side, take your paintbrush and get it wet, and you are just going to paint. This is mine. Yeah. Okay. You're going to paint all over. Now are don't we go using all that the way as the, the edge. paint? Yes, that is oh, fun. Wait, so I should start in the middle, but don't go all the yeah, way don't over. Don't go all the way to the edge because I think it's more interesting when you see the edges of the paint. Okay. And you can kind of angle it at the light to see, make sure you didn't miss any spots in the middle. You don't need to cover all the letters, but you can. You know. How sort of, uh, wet should it be? Um, not soaking wet. Okay, because I just but, thought of that now. No, uh, that's that, that's that's a good wetness. You just sort of spin it around with the brush. The, as long as you don't have puddles. What is so, in the pit? Joe. Yeah, Slade has decided that he needed to be under the table while we did this. Now, I will say that when you do this, you're going to want to use a cardstock or some kind of heavier paper. If you just use printer paper, when you paint water on it, it's just going to crinkle up. Okay. It won't look as good. So, so at least invest in the good paper, but you can actually do it with... Right. I mean, you could just use cardstock that you get at Target. This is mixed media paper that I got at the craft store, but mm -hmm. it's still pretty cheap. Okay. So once you've done that, you take your plastic bag, very carefully so you don't get marker on you, flip it over. So the marker side is down. It's not what I thought we were going to be doing. Very carefully fun. lay it so it stays in the lines and so press it down and then you take your hand and swish it around back and like this. And make sure you get all around the edge. And then what? pull it off and you're done. You might need a little more water. I think you didn't have enough water. Let's try. <sighs> smear some water on there. But look, you can oh. you can paint it around and then just smear it again to get Dried a little bit. Usually you have to pop it on there right as soon as you get on there. Okay, go smear it. Oh, I'm doing it again? Yeah. Blend the colors a bit. Okay. And then you can, if you don't like the way it comes out, you can take your brush to push the colors around more. You know, sometimes when you pull the bag up, you get a puddle. Like, so you like have a puddle right yeah. there. Take your brush and just move the puddle around until you like the way it looks. And that's it. Wow. Bang, I'm done. Oh, wait. I still have puddles. But don't blend it too much because you want oh, to be able no, to see the No, don't blend it, please, people. You know what just, you're doing. Some puddles are okay. You just don't want a giant puddle. Okay. Because if you blend it too much, it's going to turn one solid color and you won't have the different... Right, anyway, how pretty is. yours is. It's going to turn out like mine. So, there you go. Look how cute that is, though. I mean, yours, not mine. But look how cute Jen's is. And that took, what, like 15 minutes, maybe? And that was attempting to get me to do it. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for showing me how to do that. Um, Jen was nice enough. I don't know if this is actually going to be one of them, but um, we're going to put Jen's on our Facebook, right? Yeah. Awesome. And uh, if you like the photo, and it'll be on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, and then we're going to give one away. So you have all week of this episode, and then next Monday we'll pick a new, uh, we'll pick a winner. And then we'll send that to you. And I mean, we'll put mine up. And if it gets a like, we'll give it to someone. I'm not sure. Jen, uh, thanks for being here. Thank you. For I know you me. loved doing this. <laughs> so I thank you very much for coming on and hanging out with me. And uh, tell them again how to find you. Uh, JenSnyderPhoto.com. Great. And I okay. hope Emmy is on camera right now. I'm going to take a picture of her <laughs> so you can see what we're dealing with. Perfect. All right, everyone. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. I love you. Goodbye.